Well, hi friends, it's Wayne Polson. Uh, guess where I'm coming to you from? Yes, right here at Hartwood, next door to SM Heartland. I think Susie's, Susie's right behind me. Folks, uh, what is it? Today's the 14th? 14th. 14th, here's Susie. Sunday the 14th. She's got her stitches out of her lip. She's just waiting to get some new teeth. And uh, yeah. um, and I don't know, we're not sure when that's gonna happen. Do you know when it's gonna happen? Three months from now? Well, probably, he said I'll probably need a second bone graft. So then it'll, in three months I go back to see him. And then if I do need another bone graft, it'll be another three months before I can get implants. All right. But hopefully by the end of the month, the regular dentist should be able to make me a partial. There you go. But my swelling is almost gone. I still have some yep. and a little bit of bruising. Yep, she still has a black eye and I did not do it. I'm just... And, and I, I have some pain, but it's, I believe it's healing pain. Like yeah. pain because things are re... Yeah. Are, are growing back together. Well, good for you. All right. Yeah, well, that's Susie's story. My story is... Yesterday was the first day after one month of me not uh, having intense pain in my knee after the total knee uh, arthroplasty, as they call it, or total knee replacement. Um, and I'm feeling much better. I actually got probably about six, seven hours of sleep last night, so I can't complain at all. Now, you may wonder what we're doing here. Um, it's about 11 degrees right now. Isn't that right, Suze? I think that's what you said. Yeah, it's about 11 degrees and... I just got done clearing snow from the driveway. We're going to get 21 tons of what they call grit here. I don't know exactly what that is. It's real fine limestone, perhaps. Um, we're going to use that to uh, treat uh, sketchy areas of our driveway. And that'll be coming in tomorrow. We're looking forward to that. It's really inexpensive. I think 21 tons is going to run somewhere just under $300. But what we're doing today is we're still on a mission to give Rusty away after he kicked Susie in the face. And we found someone today that might be interested, but she wants pictures of his teeth. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Hey, Scout, I hope. And then, Here's Rusty. He's not a bad looking horse. And he's friendly just to come up to, but don't make him do anything he doesn't want to. Right. That's the bottom line. Yep, a little stubborn streak in him. So, all right, all right. Suze, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna get his teeth? I don't know, you need to put that camera down. All right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna get pictures of the teeth. What's he doing? Oh, making a deposit. Uh, phew, that's pretty ripe, Rusty. Don't go anywhere, all right, because we're going to get your teeth. He's not going to go anywhere. All right. We'll be back in a second. All right, so we got the pictures. Uh, we're ready to go. This is not going to be a long video, folks. I just wanted to check in with you, give you a little update on me and Susie, how we're doing out here, and things are getting better finally. Uh, so it is cold, bitterly cold. And we're gonna go ahead and, princess. yeah, a little princess right there. And Hope, Scout and Hope. Yeah, um, they actually spent the night in the run-in last night because it's been pretty darn cold. Susie put up these uh, canvas tarps on the entrance of it to block the wind and it seems to be doing a pretty good job. So, all right, so that's about it. I'm not going to make this a long video. I have really nothing more interesting than what you get here right now. I am, like I told you before, I've got some videos in the pipeline. And so as soon as I get totally back on my feet, and maybe one, once things warm up a little bit more, we'll, uh, we'll get some of those videos going. Folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for the prayers and the thoughts. Uh, we really appreciate that. Wayne Wango Weaver, thank you for keeping in touch with us. And Jeremy, yep. All of our friends, Byron, John, who? Yeah, there's Jeremy Weaver and Jeremy Bell, Bellhopper. Uh, and, oh, 
just all kinds of folks. Folks, I really appreciate you. Angie K, thank you too. Angie K, I'm real close to putting that tailgate ladder on the truck. It's just a little bit nippy right now, uh, but it's all ready to go. All I gotta do is get out here and get it installed. So you'll, uh, you'll see that coming your way as well. All right, folks, continue to be kind in your neighborhood. Do as you do. Uh, you guys are, are awesome people. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I hope to be able to maybe someday, I don't know, maybe someday we'll have a uh, Heartland family outing here and we'll invite all you folks here for, for a weekend or something. Okay, we'll see how that goes. All right, that's it. See you in the next video.